Hello everyone, it's good to see you. It's been so long I went live. I mean, I miss you all. If you are joining the live stream for the first time, my name is Stella Chanelli. And yeah, so far, let me see who is here, who is here, who is here to support, who is here to support, who is here to support. Okay, so guys, um, hi, hello from Côte d'Ivoire, uh, formerly called Ivy Coast. And today I'm going to be sharing my... <laughs> oh, it's good to have you all here. Today I'm going to be sharing my first impression about Côte d'Ivoire. I'm live in Côte d'Ivoire. And this is my 11th um, country and counting. So yeah, good to have you here. About eight people are here. Yay! Good. Ooh, ooh. I'm so happy to see you all here. Hi, M. Bonnie. I'm here. I miss you already. I miss you too. <laughs> Hello, Favor. Chanelli. Okay, so guys, let me know which um, country you're representing uh, or you're watching this live stream from. I'm currently in Côte d'Ivoire. Please let me know if my audio and my video quality is fine. I just woke up, so uh, I'm sure my eye looks a little sleepy. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Godfrey. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good to have you here. I miss you so much. I hope you are doing well. Hello, Naku, darling. Naku is also a YouTuber. Please head to her channel and show her some love. Please let me know which country you are watching this live stream, live stream from. I'm currently here in Côte d'Ivoire or Ivory Coast. People say Ivory Coast, people say Côte d'Ivoire. Yeah, but it used to be called Ivory Coast, now called Côte d'Ivoire. And I'm super excited. Yeah. I'm super excited. So guys, this conversation is going to be you and I. If you also want to join my live stream, let me know in the comments. Then I'll pin the link so that you could also join. So we share. If you've been here before, you might want to share your experiences here just as I've, I've been here for um thursday friday saturday today is my third day here and i'm loving it like i have so much to say today to you all <laughs> so ricky says awesome channel thank you so much richie yeah watching me from america yay us representing <laughs> Okay, um, favor says Nigerian YouTuber, please let's pass the popcorn while watching. Yes, okay, so he's also a, um, a Nigerian YouTuber, show him some love. <laughs> Hi, Eric, Eric from Dallas, Texas, good to have you here. Naku from Ghana, 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 all the way, <laughs> guys. Please let me know if the um, audio and the video quality is fine. Hello, darling. Aphrodisiac Villas Pass. Bonsoir, madame. Bonsoir, guys. So let me tell you this. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, all the French I learned in school, I've been trying to remember. Like, this this trip here, he has been so funny. I can't wait to sh keep um, to share the videos with you. I kept saying all the answer and words. Like, when you are paying like the Uber driver, you are paying the bus driver, you have to like, like nobody speaks English. When I say nobody, not like, um, when you're in the city, it's easy to get someone who speaks English. But when you are like outskirts of the city, it's so difficult. So all you need to do is make sure you have internet. So if you are having difficulty, there are some people who can read French. So you quickly just do the translator then they understand they can speak when we got when we were going to pick a bus yesterday that's what he, we did and then he was able to understand what we were saying it was so difficult like everybody speaks french but then i mean that's that should tell me that i need to step up my game in terms of learning french and yeah and um cc ccg says in egypt are the land borders open yet um i sincerely don't know but in Ghana, the land borders are not open yet. So I came by um, flight. I came by flight. He said, no problem. You're welcome. Hi, Bola. Hi, Darlene. How are you? It said, one, two, three, check, check. Audio, video working. OK. Yes. Um, Dara says, are you in Africa? Yes, I am in Africa. I am Ghanaian. I am currently in um, Côte d'Ivoire. And it's my first time in Côte d'Ivoire. So this video 
please, if you have any questions, kindly let me know. I'm going to be sharing my experiences and yeah, yeah, yeah. And if there's anything else you want to know, please let me know. Please come. You all, I want to see you in the comment section. <laughs> Um, Dialect says, Captain says, hi, hi, good to have you here. What time are you watching this live stream from? I am currently here in Cote d'Ivoire and it's very, it's the same time as Ghana and it's 7, 10 p.m. Let me know which country you're watching from and um, what's, what's the time currently and where you're watching me from. Um, you say you want to visit what? Tahari. Oh, why is Tahari? Let me know. I don't know there. He said, I'm in Egypt. I should have been more clear. I'm in Egypt. I should have been more clear. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's fine. Hey, Laurie Lossi. Good to have you here, my baby. I miss you. I know you miss me too. Bella says, come to Canada. Oh, once I get the visa, why not? Canada bounced me when? Some uh, two years ago when I tried to come to Canada. They said, no we won't give you the visa <laughs> but then i'll give it a try again if i do i will come <laughs> okay so it says um how do you deal with creative block as a content creator? okay so i'll come to that today i'm going to be talking about my experiences here in kodeva so i'll come to i'll come back to that okay it says um please visit canada i will it says mommy says hello my daughter hello mommy good to have you here Thank you so much, Mami Ufa, for joining. Oh, yes, I am your daughter. I am I'm your, your daughter. I have so many moms and daddies here. Good to have you here. It says, um, I heard the land borders will open soon in Ghana. Yes, yes, yes. It will soon open in Ghana. <laughs> yeah. Um, Delcy says, it's 12 noon. Oh, okay. Where is it in 12 noon? And which state are you currently? What's your main profession? I was surprised that YouTube is not your main job because you are so good at it. Oh, okay. So I, I manage a commercial building in Ghana and YouTube is YouTube is my job now. And it's soon going to be my main job here. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay. Vinolia says, love Stella is Auntie Emifa. Oh, good to have you here, yeah, Auntie Emifa. I love you so much. I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you so much. He said, how, how is your French? Okay. And um, percentage wise, my French is bad. My, it's terrible. My, my French is like 10%, like that bad. So when I came here, the only thing I know is the basic, like basic, basic, basic. And then I'm learning as time goes on. I got a SIM card when I came. So it's easy to communicate. When I have difficulty, I just put in the um, translation on English, then it trans translates to whoever is listening. Yeah, so guys, I'm super excited. I'm going to be sharing my experiences. So I got here Thursday and I got the ticket two weeks before my trip with my friends. So my friend's birthday is tomorrow, that's Sunday. And then she, she was like, oh, let's go somewhere different. I mean, let's let's travel. And I'm like, okay, no problem. I'm in. I'm always in. So I took some leave days and decided to visit Côte d'Ivoire. And I think it has been the best um, decision I've taken. It's um, I got the ticket for $410, which was around $2,800 and something. That's like it's not it's not three thousand. It's close to three thousand Ghana city, and we decided to come. So that's like a um a return ticket. So we decided to to come here. We came here. The flight was just about one hour, so it was not it was not a it was not a long flight. We used Emirates, and it was it was nice. It was nice. It was nice. Oh, before that, we had the COVID test. Then we came. So I don't know why we thought. Because I thought it's a, a neighboring country, I'm like, oh, um, Cote d'Ivoire is going to be like Ghana, like, like Cote d'Ivoire is going to be like Ghana. So my expectations were um, comparing it to Ghana in my head. But then I came here and then our friend picked us from the airport and I was like, what? Wait, 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 wait. Is this Cote d'Ivoire? The roads are good, smooth. 
yeah, my Airbnb host is looking at me right now, but comparing it to Ghana, yeah, the roads are like smooth. I mean, in the city. And yeah, and they have like, they are tow boots. They are tow boots, like they have like a, a lot of tow boots. I like us. <laughs> Forgive me for comparing it to Ghana, but then, but I'm actually like, I'm actually amazed what I saw here, and um, it was it's it's good. I like I like their roads. Their roads are like even yesterday we went to Yamsoku to see the um, the largest mosque, um, the largest the largest church in um, Africa, and it was really big. It was really really big. The roads were like smooth like three lanes, like, I'm like, oh, wow, like, this is Cote d'Ivoire. I was, I'm really, I was like, really, 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 really impressed. So that's the first bit. Now, let me read some comments. It says, yeah, I miss you. The food you are eating in Ivory Coast is making me jealous. Okay, so guys, I'm following, I'm posting all my daily activities on Instagram. So please, if you're not following me on Instagram, please do so. It's Stella Chanelli. The name is Stella Chanelli on um, Instagram. Follow me and then watch all my daily updates. And I've had a check in since I came. I've had the bread and the vegetables oh, and the, um, what's that thing called? Um, meat and chicken inside the bread. Oh my goodness. I think the food will make me come back to Kodema because the food, the food, oh, the food, the food so far has been. It's been, it's been, mm, I give that, I give that a hundred percent. The food is good. Like I've had three different, I've taken from three different places and all of them, it's like spicy, it's nice, it's, it's healthy, the, fr the fish is fresh. And I'm like, oh, okay, you are awesome. May God bless you with 100K and more in the near future. Amen. That is my greatest hope for December 2022. So please, if you are joining this live stream, kindly give this video a thumbs up and show, I mean, if you are just joining this live stream or you haven't seen my channel before, kindly show me some love and subscribe, join the family. It says, as you practice more, it will come very easy. Whenever I'm in a French speaking country, the language um, came very fast that I learned in school. Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, you know, there are some of the things that are like very close to English, like some of their words are like um, very close to English. So in a way, when you mention it, they kind of have an idea what you're talking about. So I don't think French is very, very difficult. You can always find your way and you can understand the little things that they say, like the normal greetings, or oh, I want to go here, I want to go here. Yeah. So um, as he says, have you tried the local dishes food yet? Yes. Yes, I just mentioned, I've tried a chicken, I've tried the bread, I don't know the name, the bread with the vegetables and the um, meats inside. Their, their, their bread is like, their French bread is hard. It's harder than that of the ones we eat in Ghana, but it's, it's delicious. <laughs> oh, we do, but it's, um, it's usually in restaurants. Yeah, no, it's not a street food. The, the street foods are very soft bread. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, Daniel says, hi, you're live. Yay, yes, I'm live. It says, are you still on the African continent? Yes, yes, ATM team. I am here in Cote d'Ivoire. It's a West African country, very close to Ghana, um, very close to um, all the other West African countries. So yes, it's, it's just an hour away by flight, by road, um would be about um it depends on where you're coming from in ghana but by road if you are somewhere very close to the border it should take you less than three four hours that's if you are very close but if not then if you're coming from Accra, it could take you like nine ten hours from Accra. so yeah so yeah um if you guys also have any um any things to share please let me know in the comment section if you also want to join me live here um, kindly let me know. I will add the link here so you could also join me so we share our experiences together. So I'm about to share. In fact, I started sharing my experiences here in Cote d'Ivoire so far. And so far, so good. Uh, he said, I have a question with how much money can you retire per month in Ghana, average per month? 
I sincerely, it depends on an individual and what um, your life, it depends on the, your lifestyle. If you live bougie, obviously you need more. If you're an average person, then yeah. So yeah, so I was sharing my experience here in Cote d'Ivoire and so far, so good. So I talked about, I earlier talked about the roads, which I think was, it's good. It's um, way, way, way better than I expected. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the people. Okay, let's talk about the people. So far, I've not had any problems with the people. Everyone seemed nice, and I've made um, new friends out of people recommending them to me. I've hung out with people since I came. I've just been here for three days, and I haven't explored yet. I'm here to explore other regions. Yes, I have explored other one. I went to Yamsoku yesterday, but I'm here to explore Asimi, which they say it's like the beautiful place in Cote d'Ivoire, like where the nice, nice, nice beaches are. And you all know that I am like, I'm really like, for I like nice beaches. I like beaches. I'm a beach person. I want to wear some bikini. I want to lie on the coast. You get it. You get it. You get it. <laughs> so God willing tomorrow. Tomorrow is my friend's birthday, Millie. And so we will be doing that tomorrow. Yeah. But then, I mean, guys, please, if there's any question, kindly share, kindly share. So I earlier mentioned that their roads are like, um, they have so many, many lanes, which is very, very beautiful. It's, I, I really like that. And, the, and I also realized that the city is green. The city is very green, um, comparing it to, let's say, let me use Ghana, because we are currently in the dry season. The city is green, like everywhere is green. Today it rained, but then even before it rained, everywhere is green. Everywhere is green. And the whole Abidjan, that's the city, is like um, surrounded with water. So every corner you pass, you kind of see the, the, the lake, which is um, very, very beautiful. I'm like, oh, wow. Like to see the, the, the lake, like every corner, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Like, like everywhere is Instagrammable, like picture, picture spots. And I think it's beautiful. If you says, I admire you a lot. Thank you so much, darling, Kimora. I love you too. She's also a YouTuber. Can we show her some love? She, she's doing amazing, especially videos from Kumasi. If you're a Kumasi fan, yeah. <laughs> wow, Afro, I have received your cash up. Thank you. Hey, did I say cash up? Yeah, cash up. Thank you so much for the fans. Woo! I'm celebrating. Thank you, thank you so much. Really, I really, 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 really appreciate God richly bless you. I'm going to take your photo. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, I'm really, really, really grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, 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 so much. I'm really, really grateful. Yeah, so I was talking about their, I already spoke about their roots. I already spoke about the people and the fact that they have, like, the city is clean, green, and they have trees. Like, you can see trees around the city, which is very, very, very beautiful. And then, um, let me talk about the Uber. So, I have tried Uber. I have tried their bus so far. I have not tried, okay, and I've also tried their taxi. I would say that their taxis are, like, they're just like regular taxis. There are some that are nice. There are some that are, like, abuga buga. <laughs> yes. And then um, their Uber, one thing I have noticed with their Uber is they give you air condition, which is very luxury. Ghana, you people should change, oh, you people should change. You will pick Uber and then they won't give you air condition. Why? Why do we do that, Ghanaians? Please change. I came here and I was like, oh, you even pick economy um, Uber and you have air condition. Like almost all their, their uh, um, Uber cars are like, cute and new and then you get a condition i was smiling i was like i was just ranting on instagram how i've been enjoying air conditions since, <laughs> since i came oh my goodness okay so let me go to the comments it says stella some percentage of airways in ghana understand and speak french because of ghana togo border and our migration from benin nigeria and togo it's, unfor it's unfortunate you are not part of that percentage. I sincerely don't understand. I blame my parents. They didn't teach me. They didn't make me 
um, um, learn the French well because they were not taking me there. I blame them. <laughs> But then, I mean, it's not too late. I will start, I will definitely start a, a course on Udemy to learn French because I feel like um, if you would want to explore other um, African countries, especially the French speaking countries, and the basic things you should know in French, you should know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I had a friend here who was in, in school with me. So when I have problem with speaking to anybody, we quickly have to call him, then he speaks to them in French, which it would have been different if. I, I could speak um, French, like we wouldn't, I wouldn't have stressed in calling him to help me um, in certain things. So yes, Jones, Jones D, you are very, very right. Um, it's really, very, very unfortunate. I'm not part of that percentage. Um, Afro, Afro D says, just do well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, bye, 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 Afro. Thank you so much a lot, if you are all. And so Yvonne says, hi, baby, was waiting for the Ivory Coast video all the way from Kenya. Yay! Okay, so I'm here for a trip. I'll, as soon as I, 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 I settle, as soon as I get um, time, I will definitely put the videos together and start uploading. I'm super excited. Like, I really can't wait because I feel like a lot of people have to see what's also um, outside their home. For somebody like me that is always in Ghana, and I mean, I've tried, I've visited other countries. This is my 11th country, but it's, it's always different when you go to somewhere new. There's a lot to learn. There is a lot of experiences. There's a lot of things that are like um, eye-opening. And there are lots of things to like compare with your home country or to other countries you have visited. There's a lot of culture. I haven't really experienced um, and it, some like... Um, um, called different cultures yet. I haven't really had that experience, but I'm hoping before I be here, I'll be able to get um, that to share with you. I just came on here to let you know the little that I have seen since I came here. Yeah, a minute. Please, if you are here, kindly give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are just seeing my channel for the first time. It's good to have you all here. Thank you so much for joining. I said, we Uber Drivers Association of Ghana say, thank you for playing our cassettes to the world. You will come and meet us here. Prepare for check. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, I, I definitely knew you were going to come for me. Like I knew you guys were going to come for me. But then, I mean, get ready because we need a condition. Because Ghana is always hot. And imagine being hot and then you come and sit in the uh, uh, Uber without air condition. You get it. But then, oh, I mean, that was meant to be a joke. It says, okay, so I, one thing I've also realized, one of, the, one of my impressions here is the fact that um, about 90% of everyone speaks French. Like everyone, everywhere from... I went hiking today. They spoke French. It was out of like out of ten people, out of let's say twenty people, you have like one person speaking English, or probably a foreigner, or um somebody who is here from another country working who like possibly speak English with you. So most people here speak French, like from the airport. Okay, the airport people speak English. The immigration officers were speaking English. Some of them were speaking English. Yesterday when I went for a tour at Yamsoku. Only one person could speak English, so we had to wait for like um, 15 minutes just because the person who could speak English was not around. But then I think um, most people speak French here. Yeah? And uh, when when I came, my, my my mate from school with his family, I went to their house. We had dinner there. I shared this on Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me and show me some love. When we went there, she served us with some Jolov, local Jolov. I vlogged it. I can't wait to share. The daughter like just started English class. So when we came, she was very happy. She was like, when we came, she was like, How are you? I'm like, I'm fine. And she was very happy because we were like foreigners and then we are speaking um English with her, like just as she's learning in school. And her parents were like, Here, if you don't take English lessons, like um extra and curricular lessons and um, for English. There's no way your child will be able to speak English because school is not compulsory, just like it's not compulsory to, to learn French in Ghana. So um, 
the fact that he said, okay, so he's good in my school, Ghana Telecom in Ghana. So when he said he's trying his best to make sure his kids speak English, I was really impressed. I was like, okay, yeah, because if you don't if you don't push for your kids to learn English, then it will be difficult for them to learn English when they are older. Just as I I'm here and I can't speak I can't speak French. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny, but then I mean, we move. That's the experience, like um, trying to trying to get um, trying to, sorry, trying to speak French just because you want someone to understand you is really, really, really funny. I can't wait to share my experience. I say, JC says, "Hey, you are very hardworking. Thank you, JC. I've been seeing your comments. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I love you so, 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 so much." God be you bless you for your love and support to me. Um, JC says, um, did you go to Ivory Coast alone or with other YouTubers? Okay, so I came here with my friend. She's not a YouTuber. She's inside. She's sleeping inside. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll get her to come and say hi now. Let me, let me even text her to come by and come and say hi to you. So I came here with her. Her birthday is tomorrow. So we came here to um, celebrate. We came here to and spend some time. We came here to um, explore. We came here to see what Côte d'Ivoire has to offer. So I just texted her to come around so she come and say hi to you all. And so yeah, I came here with her and yeah, I'm super excited. I can't wait to share my all my experiences here. And um, so yeah, so it says you are doing very well. We are waiting for the video. Yes, I can't wait. So before coming here, I posted on my Instagram page that, oh, if they knew any other YouTubers I could connect with in Côte d'Ivoire, they should link up. Guess what? Nobody. I'm not even getting one person. I really wanted to collaborate. I, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm here for an extra week. I wanted to collaborate with, um, with people, but then I'm not getting. I don't know if there are very few people here. Apparently, I hear YouTube is not monetized in Côte d'Ivoire. I don't know how true that is. Um, I don't know. It was my friend who mentioned it because there are very few people who are into YouTube, like very, very few. Like they don't really, they're not really a fan of YouTube, YouTube, according to, because I've tried, I've spoken to a lot of people like, oh, do you know any YouTube? Everybody's like, oh no, YouTubers are very few here. So um, that's the, that's the situation. She said, your YouTube videos deserve more views. Oh, I'm sure I'll get there soon, soon, soon. I mean, with people like you supporting and, and sharing my videos. I'm sure I will definitely get there soon. So yeah, and um, so far those are those has been my experience, and um, I'm loving it here, especially the food, the people, the experience, the the city experience. So tonight I'm going to experience nightlife. <laughs> Yesterday my friend was supposed to take us to like go out because apparently. Côte d'Ivoire people don't sleep. They like to party. And so I wanted to experience the party because it's Friday night. But then it didn't happen because he slept or he slept on us. So Jonathan, if you're watching this video, please, I'll come at you because he slept on us. He didn't come pick us for us to go. And you know, when you're in a new country and you're not um, too, um, you don't know places, it's better to go with a local. That way you get to know the places well. So, so for those of you who wanted to see my friend, it's live on YouTube. <laughs> Come, remove your, your hair net, your bonnet. <laughs> so my friend is coming to say hi to her. Tomorrow is her birthday. So you wish her happy birthday. So um, Matthias says, hey, um, welcome to Côte d'Ivoire at the cultural level. Um, what are the similarities between CL and Ghana? Um, could they win? Then okay, I'll, I'm coming. I'll share that. So this is my friend. Say hi. Hi guys. But, I just woke up. Yeah, we, we've been <laughs> sleeping. Like we went hiking today, so we are so tired. So for those of you, um, JC asked me who I came with. So yeah, maybe you can share. We can share our experiences together. Yeah. So um um somebody asks um welcome to Côte d'Ivoire. Um, at the cultural level, what are the similarities between um, CL and Ghana? What are the similarities so far? Oh, the people are nice. Yeah, the just like Ghana. Nice, yeah. mm -hmm. I think you should use this. The people are very nice and the 
people are nice in Ghana too. Yes. Yeah, and the cars, the, the traffic, cars, the yeah, traffic is traffic, the yeah, traffic, the cars are, are kind of similar. But then yeah. their Uber is um <laughs> I more said that because more comfortable and almost all of them use air conditioning. And um, their taxis are very similar to here. Um they are trotro when we went out of town, it's also very similar to here. Yeah. And um what else? Similarities. Mm. Their food is way nicer than ours. Hey. So far. You, <laughs> just say you enjoyed their food. Enjoyed their the Ghanaians will come at you right now. So yeah, their food was good. Like their check here. Hey. Mm. If you're not following me on Instagram, please. In Go fact, follow, follow us, us <laughs> on Instagram because we are really sharing our experiences. And well, so us. far, so far, it's me. I think those are the similarities I have um, experienced here so far. We've been here for three days, so there's more to experience. Definitely, if I experience more, I'm going to come and share my experience. So, Nancy, Nancy says, Hi, Stella. Are you Togolese away? I thought you were Ghanaian away because we Ghanaian always don't speak French. <laughs> Oh, Nancy, that is very, very true. But for the fact that our hometown is very close to Togo, it should give us a reason to understand French, which we don't. And um, we try. We try, yes. Yeah. So somebody mentioned earlier that um, because we are very close to Togo, we should have been able to speak French, but we, we didn't get a chance. We didn't take French serious. So we are in the same percentage as people who didn't okay. make it. Um, Sorry. yeah, so so far, um, yeah, and Kwame says, Kwame says, Sama Diswa, hmm, Sama Diswa, what does it mean? Simo, what does Sama Diswa mean? Sama, Sama Diswa, yeah, Sama Diswa, ah, Sama Diswa, yeah, yeah, Saturday, come again. Saturday evening, it means more like when you go Saturday. Saturday. Like Saturday, Saturday evening. evening. Oh, okay. Kwabina says Samadhi Swa. Oh, I just learned a new French word. <laughs> Samadhi Swa. It means Saturday evening. So Samadhi Swa. <laughs> yeah. Um, Atta Kujo says, Hi, Chanelli. I love your videos. You and other girls from Ghana. Your content are awesome. Kisses to you. I love you so much. Thank you so much for the love and support. Please, if you are joining my live stream for the first time, can you give this video a thumbs up? And if you are joining, if you are seeing this pretty face for the first time, can you subscribe and like and share? And I have a lot of videos, over 200 videos since I started YouTube. Please check wow. any of them out nice. here and watch any of them. Show me some love and share my videos with um, friends. I can see about 25 people here. Please give this video a thumbs up. Let's have like 25 likes on this uh, video. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Atta Kwajo. I love you so much. Say, Pooch says, hey, Charlie. Hey, hey, uh, Pooch, we care. Hey, hey. Okay, so if you are just joining my live stream, I've been sharing my experiences here in Cote d'Ivoire and so far so good. Um, um okay so I, I i spoke about a lot of people like about 90 percent of people speaking french and um, you barely get like about 10 percent of people speak english and then um, one thing i would also advise is for somebody like me who doesn't speak french and um, try and get a sim card immediately you come and don't get it at the airport because it's very expensive at the airport Try and get it or try and get a local. Our Uber driver got it for us, and I think it was way cheaper. How much did we get it? Seng Sang. Seng Sang. Yeah. <laughs> we got it for Seng Sang, which is about 500. 500 and That's 500 safer. 500 safer, yeah. Not like yeah, Seng Sang. Yeah. And then most of the things have been Seng Sang, Seng Sang, Seng Sang. Our Uber has been Seng Sang. Most of the, mm -hmm. the petty, petty things. Oh. The petty, petty things are Seng Sang. No, Uber is. 4,300. 4,000. Ah, oh, that's what million. Yeah. Oh, guys, my French is so terrible. I'm so sad. I'm so sad that I don't even, she's, she's, she's even doing better because she's she's speaking better than me. Like, ah, mine is so bad though. Hey. <laughs> but then it's good we came together and so far it's been amazing. Hi, Stella. 
how are you your videos are nice i'm from india watching you now oh thank you so much crazy boy ass hey did you say no crazy boy sss <laughs> and thank you so much for the love and support i really appreciate you and much love to you all please if you are watching this video for the first time please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and share i'm sharing my experiences right here in Cote d'Ivoire. now i think i'm done with my experiences please please let me know if you have any question for me this live stream is going to be a very very short one i'm going to be ending my live stream soon i came here with my friend and she's eating um, pizza without me but then <laughs> yeah if you have any question please kindly let me know i'm going to end the live stream in 10 minutes yeah hey love your sad smiling face <laughs> Hi. Oh, oh, I really, really appreciate you for the support, the love, and all that. And then one thing I've also noticed since I came is, okay, I think I already shared that the whole Abidjan is surrounded with um, water. water. So anywhere you pass, you like kind of see um, water, water, water everywhere. This is another um, flavor. You can try it. It's nice. So, yeah. It's been, uh, it's been, it's been amazing. I can't wait to like share um, all my experiences here um, with you. This Airbnb I'm currently in, it's very nice. It's very, very nice. I'll definitely show, I'll definitely show you all. So since we have no more questions, I'm going to end the live stream. All right, I have some questions. Hey, Junia says, love watching you from Spain. Good to have you here. Thank you so much for the love, Junior. I really appreciate you. Genevieve says, hey, Stella, can't wait for the content from Ivy Coast. Oh, I can't wait to start editing there. I don't know. But do you guys want me to, like, be editing as, like, on the go? Or I should wait till I come back and then edit and then post? Because I feel like there's, some, there's, more, there's more to create while I wait for the edit. Because the editing takes time. I can spend, like three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours on one video before it goes up. So let me know what you think. Like, how should I go about it? Genevieve Debbie is a YouTuber. Kindly show her some love. Show her some love. She's she's a YouTuber from Ghana. And hi, Debbie. Ata Kwaja says, yes. Why didn't, why didn't you come to other crazy friends from Ghana? You all together are fun. So, I mean, you know how planning trips are you plan with we actually planned with about four people and then last minute everybody just dropped it's very easy for people to say oh i'm not coming i'm not coming like it's a i don't know whether it's a Ghanaian thing but like they always just give you that vibes and so it doesn't mean you shouldn't come if my friend had not come i would have still come alone um i'm very spontaneous like that and once i have taken my leave days i have to make it work so yeah that's why um um yeah that's so that's why so attack says um can you post unedited no i can't post unedited because it's the videos are in, in in pieces if you all know i vlog with this i vlog with my gopro most of my vlogs are this with this camera and so the videos are in bits because i don't vlog a long vlog like i don't vlog continuously i vlog in bits like small 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 two minutes three minutes four minutes five minutes 60 seconds then i add all of them together and then i make it stylish just as i feel it will be pleasing to the eye so it's i can't i can't post them and edit it yeah then he says oh no enjoy your moments we are back again if you can edit when when you are back in ghana you can edit okay i think that's a good idea just enjoy your stay then edit for us later to enjoy um could you work through your channel oh i really can't wait thank you so much for the love yvonne so i think this is going to be my last comment oh okay 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 i got some comments um jc says what airline did you fly with from Accra to abidjan and how much was the cost? okay i shared it earlier i came with um, um <laughs> i'm here i'm here i'm here <laughs> yeah so I came with Emirates and I got a ticket for $410, which was about $2,870 something. It was less than 3,000 Ghana CDs. That's how much I spent for the tickets for a return ticket. Then I had to do, pay for, I had to do a COVID test, which cost me 300 Ghana CDs at the airport. You know, Emirates, Emirates have specific places you can do your COVID test. So 
I couldn't have done my COVID test anywhere else apart from the airport and I think some other hospitals. So wow. uh, it cost me 300 cities for the but guys, you know how I did I'm I'll be very open about how much I've spending everything. This entire trip like this, I've budgeted four hundred dollars and I don't um expect to exceed more than that. And I'll definitely share if I do exceed. Yes, so so far I think we are beyond we are we are um we are just within budgets. Yes, yes. So that's the airline I, I came with Emirates. It says Atta says I got you. It says when are you coming back to Ghana? Um after after eight days, I'll be in Ghana. Yes. So yeah, I want to say thank you so much for hey, I want to say thank you so much for um watching, joining my live stream. Kindly show me some love by giving this video a thumbs up and i want to say i love you all i really appreciate the love and support this is my total experience here so far my first impressions here in Cote d'Ivoire, specifically abidjan i hope you enjoyed watching this live stream just as i enjoyed coming here in, in okay so come and blog in usa okay guys so my highest viewers are from the us like and i really really would love to come to the us but then I don't have a visa yet. So when I do, if you also want to give me an invitation, please, my hands are open. I'll definitely come if I get the chance. I want to say thank you all so much for joining. The hair part. <laughs> I know, right? She was making noise. I had to like, say, hey, hey, who you did it? <laughs> I want to say thank you all for joining my live stream. I love you all. And to everyone watching this video, I'm blowing you kisses. Kisses from Côte d'Ivoire. I love you all. Godfrey says, good input. I love you. Thank you so much, Godfrey. I love you all. Um, we'll get you an invite. Please do. Please do. My WhatsApp number is in my description box. Please send me a WhatsApp. Let's talk. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love you all. I'm ending the live stream now. I love you. Oh, this is a nice live comment. I'll give you, get you an invite. Hmm, sweet. So sweet of you. Bye-bye.